Hi everyone, in today's video we are going to have a look at how you can find case law easily using the UniSA Library Database. So the UniSA Library Database is available to all UniSA students for free. So we're going to start off with Google and we are going to type in the UniSA Library and click on the first link and then from here you will see a whole heap of things, uh, including LinkedIn learning, um, finding literature, et cetera, et cetera. What we're going to have a look at is under study, and then we're going to click on guides. So the UniSA library has created guides for a whole host of topics and courses, which you may find useful and feel free to have a look around here for your other topics. However, what we're going to look for today is law research. So we click on law research. Here you can see the law research guide. Now this is particularly useful for you when you are looking for the difference between, for example, primary sources and secondary sources. And it also has some quizzes and tests in here, which you can use to check between legislation, to check with referencing, etc. Then we have legislation guides as a primary source. And here you will find a host of UniSA licensed databases where you can find legislation. So all of these databases can be accessed through the uni. Some are freely available to those who are not uni uh, students. However, all of these are available for free using your login. And you can click on these and search for any piece of legislation that you may be looking for. It's also got information on where to find parliamentary debates, committee reports, et cetera, et cetera. So have a look through here if you are looking for information on legislation. Then we have case law. And this is where we are going to look today because we are looking for case law. However, please note on the left-hand side here, we have journal articles, uh, legal encyclopedias, criminal, public, referencing, and frequently asked questions for first-year law students. So I will just quickly take you through this. So these are the top 10 questions which have been asked from first-year law students, and you may find that your question is already here, in which case feel free to have a look and use the links associated with it. And we also have referencing. So for law students, we are using the Australian Guide to Legal Citation. And this page has a whole host of uh, resources available for the Australian uh, Guide to Legal Citation and for law school referencing. But we're going to go back to case law. And we're going to look here at the differences. So we have here Australian cases. And to find Australian cases, we might use Westlaw. We might use case base. Osley or unreported judgments via LexisNexis. Then we have international cases. And again, you would use these databases if you are looking for international cases. Again, there's further information here, including information about IRAC, analyzing a case, case citations, and some activities. So if you're unsure about anything to do with case law or referencing, please take a moment to look around the library guide. What we're going to do is have a look at one of these databases. So today I'm going to have a look at case base via Lexis Advanced Research because we are going to pretend we are looking for something from the Australian Law Report. So we would know that this is the appropriate resource to use. This page will then come up and all you need to do is either click sign in and place your UniSA student ID and password in or use case based login there. And we now find ourselves, so I've just logged in, on the Lexis Advanced page where we are accessing cases through case base. Now, I should also note if at any time you run into trouble with finding information, we also have the Ask the Library live chat function. So you can talk to someone from the UniSA Library live. And again, you just log into that chat function using your UniSA student ID 
or password. Um, so we're back to LexisNexis. So here we have a quick find of cases, legislation, secondary materials. If you know under which type of law it fits, uh, you might know, again, Australian law reports. We could then go view table of contents and I would be able to find potentially what I am looking for through the um, ACL, uh, ALR, sorry, citations. However, if we are unsure of exactly what we're looking for, and I am going to pretend that I am looking for a case to do with uh, construction contracts. So I'm going to write in construction contract. Now, keeping in mind this is very broad. So if we then press search, it is going to load and we have 4,000 reports on construction contract cases. Now this is showing in any order. However, you can place these in a specified order as well. And here we can go through and we can see that this case here discussed building and construction, building contracts, payment claims, subcontractors, and it's a New South Wales case from 2019. We can also look at the little symbol on the left, and this says cautionary treatment indicated. So this may mean that there has been a case since this time which either um, potentially disagreed or potentially said something that um, makes this case not suitable for all situations. So as you can see, you can go down and this one has neutral treatment. Each case will have something different. Now, that is obviously quite a lengthy way of doing it. I would advise any student, if you know specifically what you are looking for, to be placing a either stricter set of rules here or searching within those results then. So then I might say South Australian or I might limit it here by the uh, states or the courts. So say, for example, I was looking for something that was in the South Australian Supreme Court. I could click on that and it would filter it. So make sure that you take a moment to become familiar with these databases because they are invaluable for finding cases. Then once you find the case that you are looking for, you can obviously open them up and read them uh, and see any other cases which either reference them or have been referenced by them.